The investment banking recession, sir, is it closing? Is it ending? It's beginning to warm, but it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. We've had the punch bowl. We've had uh, incredibly easy money conditions, zero interest rates. We've taken the punch bowl away, and markets haven't fully adjusted. Do you think a couple of rate cuts make a difference to your world, this conversation that we have every single day? They do. They do. The, the reality is that rates right now are coming down. The only question is when, and I do believe that it's going to be pushed out further. And until we start to see actual rate cuts, I think it's going to be difficult to really get the the financial markets, the M&A marketplace moving. You said something there that I think is really telling. You said the punch pull has been taken away, but it takes time for it to adjust. It's sort of the long and variable lags that we've debated for about uh, the better part of about three years. Do you think that there is a mountain of reckoning and valuations that has yet taken place uh, in, in your space, in, in private equity, in, in, in sort of some of the deal space? Well, let's, let's look at it. So if you go back, you've had a global M&A market that's four, four and a half trillion, year in, year out, plus or minus four and a half trillion. All of a sudden, COVID, market shrivels up, three trillion. Fed comes in, rates go to zero, six trillion. Now, the punch bowl is taken away, 11 rate hikes, three trillion. So we've gone from four and a half to six to three. And now the question is, how do we get this marketplace started again? And when you think about it, a lot of that is private equity involvement has dried up. And when you look at how active private equity has been and how much they've hit the sidelines, that, I think, is what people don't fully appreciate. And until private equity gets more forward-leaning, until they're prepared to sell a lot of the assets that they have, until they're prepared to recycle that capital and make new investments, I think you're going to have this, this stuck environment. So what kind of haircut are we talking about? Because essentially it's a price issue. They don't want to take a 20% haircut, a 30% haircut. They don't want to lose money. How much are they going to have to in order to get this market moving? Look, one thing about private equity is they are exquisite at controlling exit timings. And they have long runways. And that's why I think this is going to be a very, very slow build back up. And when you think about that larger constituency being that active in the M&A marketplace, and now all of a sudden they're controlling their exits and they're pushing them out and they're not returning capital to investors and all of a sudden the capital that's being called is greater than the capital that's being distributed. The IPO markets have been tight, so there's very little in terms of monetizations in the IPO marketplace. The credit markets have constrained dividend recapitalizations. There's a bid ask on private equity assets as far as monetizing. So we're going to work our way out of this. So when you ask me about the recession, it's been an M&A recession. It's been an investment banking recession. Yep. I think many of the conditions are in place to start that recovery, but it's not going to pop back up. It's not going to do so immediately. But I think we're starting to get there. This is your world. Help me understand it a little bit more. You mentioned M&A, so let's talk about that. If I'm a company right now, am I waiting to see what happens with the politics before I go out and do a big deal, a big acquisition? The political environment that we're in, we're now in an election year, that's going to dramatically increase the volatility in the marketplace. I don't think that's appreciated to the full extent today. As we get further into the year and closer to the election, my sense is you're going to see the pause button hit on a lot of transactions. So in a way, we may see a catalyst in the IPO market where companies want to come to market early in the year and not wait. I think you're likely to see more M&A activity in the first half of the year. People are likely to hit the sidelines later. And then once the election is over and we understand the direction going forward, I think you're going to have a pretty robust snapback.